Welcome back to uh, solving simultaneous linear equations. And this time, we're going to use a different method called the elimination method. And as the name would indicate, the elimination method means that you're going to eliminate one of the two variables in your equations. And usually, the way you do that is by either adding or subtracting the two equations. And my method, the way I like to apply it's not really my method. I didn't come up with it. I just learned how to do that. But the way I like to use that elimination method the best is by adding the two equations in such a way that one of the variables drops out. And here you can see if I simply add the two equations, I have a plus y in one equation and a minus y in the other equation. When I add them up, the plus y and the y, y will cancel, and therefore it will get eliminated. So let's do that. x plus x gives me 2x. Plus y minus y, that's plus 0, equals 6 plus 2, which is 8. So by combining or adding the two equations, I've eliminated the y. And now I end up in an equation with just one variable, which is easy to solve for x. So this gives me 2x is equal to 8. Divide both sides by 2, and I get x equals 4. So you can see that very easily, you can solve these equations by eliminating one of the variables. Now, you're not done yet, because now you have to take this value and plug it back into one of your two equations. It really doesn't matter which one. Either one is fine. In this case, I'll plug it into the first equation I had. And so if I plug in the value of 4 for x, I end up with 4 plus y equals 6. Moving the 4 across, I get y equals 6 minus 4. Remember, when you cross the equal sign, the sign changes, so y equals 2 is the y-coordinate of the point where the two lines cross. So my solution, therefore, will be 4, 2. This is the point where the two lines See, cross. Just to make sure we did this correct, because it seems like the correct answer, but how do you know for sure? Plug the two points in the other equation to see if that equation holds by plugging these two values in. So let's take this equation right here, equation number 2, x minus y equals 2. When we plug the x and the y value in here, so we have 4 minus 2. Is that indeed equal to 2? And the answer is yes. So just to make sure, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and check the, um, check the answer by plugging the two points into the second equation. 